Gemini, let's start with your reading. Today, we are going to look into the energies around you, and then we will look into the upcoming events in your near future. All right, let's get into your messages. Okay, this is definitely very interesting. And what we see at the bottom of the deck is the 10 of ones followed by the Hierophant. What I'm seeing right here right away is that someone is not sharing some sort of information, perhaps not revealing something because they're afraid to be too vulnerable. They're afraid to maybe being even rejected right here. And so we see with the stand of ones, this person who alone decides to carry this burden around, but not for long, as we will see here. The reading starts with the seven of swords and the seven of swords is actually followed by the six of wands. And I see immediately also given the main energy that there is someone here who on the surface has a specific opinion of you. But underneath the surface, it's a completely different story. Perhaps this person is telling themselves that you are just a friend or that you are just an ex and that the two of you will never really accomplish anything else together in life. But underneath the surface instead, we see how this person has actually feelings for you. And why would this person do this to themselves? Just the look of it, it looks very painful. But obviously we have a person here, the Seven of Swords, who is being in denial, who is perhaps afraid, or who still has to realize that this is the case. Uh, the message that I'm getting from these two cards is someone who is saying, I don't need you, but I do need you. It, there is definitely some sort of conflict here and a connection, a situation that wants to progress. If this is a friendship, it wants to go to romance. If this is an ex, it's definitely someone who's still carrying a burden and, and cannot let go of you. This is a re reunion with the past or with someone very important that is not really happening. They think about you underneath the surface as the one that got away. Someone who is the perfect person, but that maybe they have met at the wrong time. We see how this person overall is rejecting love to not get hurt. And so they are treating you like a friend or they're treating you like a stranger, like someone distant that they don't need to talk to. But deep down, this person perceives you as their soulmate, perhaps. And so right here, there is a lot of conflict, whether it was in between the two of you or just internal. And we see how they are downplaying their own feelings to not admit to themselves how important you actually are. And this is confirmed by the Six of Wands, which is actually a very powerful energy. Because what you see here is that someone clearly has an interest in you, a strong attraction. And with the Six of Wands, this could easily be your soulmate or your dream partner as well. It feels like the two of you together, when you are together at the right time, you can be very supportive of each other. There is something right here that talks about two people dedicated to see the other person happy as well. But maybe at some point, this Seven of Swords person has let you down. There is passion, there is desire, but again, right person at the wrong time. Right now, they are admiring you from a distance. They are maybe doubting their abilities to come in and be successful at this. They feel negative, they don't have confidence, and they keep comparing themselves to someone else in your life. Obviously, you are surrounded by other people and they know it. 
And the more people they see, perhaps the more doubts they have. They become jealous and they build this emotional wall. But behind that wall, this person is already in love with you, Gemini, even if they try not to. Now, next we have the Five of Cups, Judgment Reversed, and the Page of Swords. And so, how do you feel towards this person, Gemini? You gave up on them a long time ago, perhaps. You felt like this was fighting a losing battle. You have waited and waited for this person to realize something that maybe you already know. But at some point, you just realized that you had to stop living into this hypothetical timeline, hypothetical connection and future together. Stop even living in the past, thinking about someone who is not reaching out and who is not seeing what you are seeing, or at least as far as you know, with the energy that we see on the surface. Right here, I just see you eventually just accepting the fact that this has not worked out, that the situation hasn't turned out as expected, and you classify this as a missed opportunity. It's fine. And also, the end is a new beginning, looking for new love, not dwelling on the past, and overall, giving yourself some degree of closure as well but there is a piece of you that still responds to them still responds to the memory of this person as well you know you might have thought at some point that they were the one for you thinking that maybe you'll never meet someone that makes you feel that way again but gemini this communication this overall dynamic really seems difficult with that seven of swords and really seems like it's not or didn't make you happy at least because there's no communication and there wasn't clear communication there was a lot of projection uh, and the the overall situation and dynamic was very open to interpretation and maybe eventually you started creating issues that weren't really there or that could have been easily solved with communication but we see with judgment reverse that uh, there are there have been small changes that had huge impact maybe at first you underestimated them but eventually it really created that breaking point this could be something small honestly a message that was not sent or an event a, um, a date that was cancelled or someone actually moving somewhere else this is physical distance too physical which eventually transforms into emotional distance as well someone thinking it's fine we're going to make it even if we're far but it didn't work out and now someone is still being in denial because this is reversed and there is a need for transparency for honesty because that will bring you to some sort of awakening and overall, it will help you not being stuck into a situation where the both of you keep thinking about each other, regardless of the fact that you're talking or not. In fact, Page of Swords, look at this energy right here. This is a very shy type of energy that you don't see, but it's there. It's working underneath the surface. And in other words, what I see here is that this person is doing some heavy spying on you and they feel somewhat restless they need to know what you're doing who you're with if you're missing them especially but also with the page of swords we see wheels turning or in other words someone making some plans here i see someone eager to execute an idea maybe sending a message sending a gift or you know what since this is that shy energy, this could just be someone who knows that you are also following them on social media or maybe you have access to some of their social media accounts and they are uploading pictures where they're having fun, where they think they look very good and they want to overall see if you're going to leave a like if you're going to interact with them, if you're going to be jealous of seeing them maybe with someone else. 
they are trying to find a way back in Gemini without telling you that they are. But, you know, they're very nervous about this. And they overall need to know if you're still thinking about them. And so what we have next is actually very, very interesting. The Two of Swords and the Knight of Wands. There is a crossroad here. And this person is going full speed towards that crossroad, towards that decision. Someone is considering pros and cons. I don't know yet if it's if it's you or the other person, but I see that this person is afraid that you are going to fall in love with someone else. Maybe you are seeing someone or just in their head. They have a fear. They maybe have had a dream with you getting married to someone else. But here, unfortunately, with the Two of Swords, they're still not letting you know that they are interested. So they go to bed, sad, angry, and they don't understand that all they need to do is just finding a compromise, internal compromise, in fact. Keep in mind that this person hasn't dated. I don't see them being with anyone else. Maybe they are having fun with people in general, but at the same time, as soon as someone tr starts to open up their heart to them, they immediately reject them because they're not you. And this is something that it's not going away. It's actually getting stronger. In fact, the longer the wait, the harder it gets. They just wish they had a rewind button. That's what I see here. Back to a time where maybe the two of you could have worked things out or could have been more honest they could have been more honest to you. But you are about to see this person's true colors. Not at once. Someone is definitely going to make a move here. Someone somewhat impulsive and charming, definitely. All of a sudden, there is no fear of rejection anymore. Maybe because this person is drinking a little or they're trying to mask it somehow. Or, you know, they actually ended up getting that like from you. And so there is some sort of positive momentum here that it's making them decide to come forward, to do something about this. Someone likes you, someone loves you and hasn't told you yet. But with the Knight of Wands, you have someone who can finally accomplish goals. This brings an unexpected event, something very passionate. And you see that impatience that they have. They want you. They want you now. They cannot wait anymore. And so what is this message going to be about? Given all the issues that we've seen so far, what are they going to do at this point? But also, given all the love that still persists at the very base of this situation, how is this connection bound to evolve in the near and distant future, especially after this comes in, after this stagnant energy finally goes away and there is some sort of movement, any type of move movement. I do believe that it's going to benefit the both of you at this point, either because it's taking you to closure, real closure, or because it's making you realize that now it's the right time for the two of you to come together. Let's see what this Knight of Wands is going to do in the near future. And let's see how it's going to change the very trajectory of this connection in the future. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, Gemini, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week, I randomly select viewers who I watch the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal 30 minute reading. The reading is live face to face in, on camera, of course. I don't record them. I send out emails every Monday morning to confirm. Make sure to check out the spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Gemini. I mean, the bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the future situation is the Wheel of Fortune. And you know, when you see this card, that you are about to go through a major state change regarding this situation right here. 
this is unexpected. Even if maybe you, some of you knew that that connection was still there, you were not expecting for things to turn out in the way that they're going to. This is happy changes if you handle them the right way, if you don't resist it, and also if you learn the lesson that comes with this very situation. The fact that we go through these challenges is not random, it has its own meaning. And we have to understand why, we have to understand what we need to change. We have to make this judgment upright so that we know how to not make the same mistakes again in the future. But before getting into that Wheel of Fortune, let's start looking into the Knight of Wands. Let's clarify that energy and see what you should expect in the near future from this person. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. Well, I see why you're not expecting the whole energy that it's actually coming your way. There is something that you have underestimated about this person. And it's actually very important for you to know because it's going to...